Welcome to the Talk FC and welcome back here to the channel guys. Just something on the channel today that is a little bit different once again. In this break I have been quite imaginative. I have come up with a few different ideas and I've been basing it all around what you guys like to see and you particularly enjoyed my video there where I ranked the transfers. That's going to be in the description down below if you haven't seen that but it was basically there talking about the transfer rumours and who's likely to join Barcelona at some point in the future and I thought I'd do something in a similar style today but with regard to the current Barcelona squad, we are going to be discussing who's likely to leave before 2021. And there's a specific reason why we're going by that date. Because in the summer of 2021, which isn't all that far away, Barcelona, we're hoping, will enter a brand new era. Because that is the time the presidential elections will be taking place. And hopefully we will have there a new era at Barcelona to look forward to. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be ranking each of the first team squad their likelihood of leaving the club before the summer of 2021. Who in the first team squad is still going to be here when those elections come around? So without further ado, Let's get to it. And just like with the transfer rumor video, guys, the ratings today will be very, very simple. It's going to be from zero to 10. If I rank them zero, it means it's pretty much impossible the player is going to leave before 2021. If I rate them 10 out of 10, that means pretty much they're already on their way. So let's do it. We start here with Marc-Andre Ter Stegen and we start with our first zero out of ten. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen will be 29 by the summer of 2021. His contract right now expires in 2022 but plans are already in place, talks have already started about renewing Ter Stegen until 2025. I think without a shadow of a doubt Ter Stegen is still going to be here at 29. He'll be in the peak of his powers. There's no chance he's leaving. Zero out of 10. With regard to backup goalkeeper Neto though, I've gone here with 3 out of 10 and possibly there I would be leaning to about 4 and the reason for that is, sometimes the backup goalkeepers at Barcelona even though they know they're going to be backup, even though they know they're not going to get much game time, they can get bored. And with Neto there, he's going to be 32, he might want to change he might want to go and play football a little bit more regularly. You don't know what will happen by the summer of 2021 he could well still be here, but I wouldn't completely rule him out leaving we move on to defence now, starting with Sergio Roberto, and I've gone here with a 3 out of 10 rating for Sergio Roberto. I think there it's unlikely we're going to see him depart before the summer of 2021. By that time, he'll be 29 years old. He would be entering into the final year of his contract. His contract right now expires in 2022, but I always feel as though he's going to be quite a useful player to have. He can play at right back, he can play in midfield, of course. He's very versatile, and he's somebody I feel, especially having come through the Barcelona Academy, Academy, he's going to stick around for a little while yet. When it comes to our other right back though, Nelson Semedo, I'm not so sure. I'm going to go here with 6 out of 10. I would actually lean right now more towards him leaving than actually staying at Barcelona by the summer of 2021. By then, he'll be 27. He would be into the final year of his contract. The big thing with Semedo is though, and like it is to be honest with many of these players, what would he be like under a different coach? We may well get to see that before 2021. He could certainly come into his own by then, but right now at least, Semedo isn't all that comfortable, Barcelona aren't all that happy with him, I wouldn't be all that surprised to see him depart by then. And as for our third right back right now, Musa Wage, I would go there with a 5 out of 10 rating and I would say that because right now I feel like his future is up in the air, it's very much 50-50 by 2021, he'll be 22, could he go out on loan before then, perhaps maybe go out on loan, get some experience get some game time and prove that he can do it at Barcelona, and again what would he be like under a different coach? Would he get more opportunities? These are all things to bear in mind. But right now, for Wage... 50-50. And if we now move on to the centre-back starting here with Clement Longley, who I think is the most likely centre-back to remain at Barcelona before 2021. I've gone there with 2 out of 10 for Clement Longley. By that time, he'll be 26 years old. Still for a centre-back there, relatively young. And I just feel as though Longley is always going to be a very reliable centre-back option. I'm not saying that he's 100% going to be first choice by 2021, but he's always going to be in and around the squad. Even there, as a third centre-back, he could be very, very useful. 
and I certainly see him staying at Barcelona. As for Samuel Umtiti though, I'm not 100% sure. Much like Wage, I would go here with a 50-50 chance. Samuel Umtiti, 5 out of 10 for me. By 2021, he'll be 27 years old as he starts there to enter his prime years as a centre-back. And right now with Umtiti, you've just got to say, it all depends on injuries. Is he going to stay pretty much injury-free between now and the end of the season? Looking beyond that. And also, of course, from his point of view, is he going to win back his place in the first team, in that starting eleven? Is he going to get his place back. If he doesn't, will he want to leave? I think I'm Teddy. There's a few question marks. That's why I'd say I'm not completely sure he will be here. And it's much the same story there for young Jean-Claire Tadebo. And I've actually gone there with a 6 out of 10. The fact that he could remain in 2021. He would only be still then 21 years old. And look, I really hope that he is here. I really, really hope that Tadebo is still at Barcelona when that new era begins. But will he be? Right now, there's already links about Tadebo going away. Could he go out on loan? Will a different coach maybe give him more of a chance next season? We don't know that yet. I would say though to Debo, at least right now, it's looking uncertain. And then we move on to Gerard Piquet. This was a tough one, of course, a club legend, no doubt about that, but I'm having to go there with 7 out of 10. I can see him definitely with a chance of leaving by the summer of 2021 because by then, he'll be 34 years old, as it is right now. He'd be entering the final year of his contract. It expires there in 2022. And you just feel like right now, Piquet, he has been in good form recently, but of course, he's got so much else going on. By 2021, he could have different businesses, he could have different ventures, you don't know what he's going to be doing, and I think it's a real possibility that PK could have left us by the summer of 2021. Now on to left back, starting there with Jordi Alba. I've gone there with a 3 out of 10. I think it's unlikely that we're going to see Jordi Alba leaving there, although he will be 32 years old, but he has got a contract until 2024. Quite a long deal there for Jordi Alba. I certainly expect him to remain at Barcelona, but again, you can't say that he'll definitely be the first choice. Maybe he'll still be here, but he might be battling maybe a little bit more for his place. We just don't know yet. Junior Firpo, I've gone there with a slightly less certain 4 out of 10. I think the chances are he is going to remain at Barcelona. He's going to be 25 in 2021, but obviously he hasn't had the perfect start right now to his Barcelona career. But as we know, it can take time. You've got to grow. You've got to have some confidence. Again, how would he perform under a different coach? You could say that about so many of these players. And of course, I'm sure that he'll have his sights on really putting pressure on Alba by the time 2021 comes around. We move now into the midfield area, starting here with two players who have absolutely no chance of leaving. Please, 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 please don't go down that road. Franco de Jong and Arthur Mello. De Jong in 2021 will be 24. Arthur will be 25. And that is so, so exciting. Because I'm hoping by then, they've established an unbreakable connection, an unbreakable combination there at the heart of our midfield. And I see those two, no chance at all of going anywhere. When it comes to Busquets, though, things are certainly a lot less certain. I'm going to go there with a 50-50 chance, 5 out of 10. He could leave in 2021, but he'll be 33 by then. He's got a contract right now until 2023. But Busquets to me seems like the kind of guy much like Xavi, much like Iniesta. When he feels like it's time, I feel like he will just walk away. He'll walk away. He won't wear any fuss. He'll just say, look, enough is enough. I've had enough. I'm going to leave now. I'm going to do it in my own way, on my own terms. But he's another one though. How would he work under a different coach in a slightly more suited system to Sergio Busquets? So that's something there to bear in mind. Then there's Carlos Alenia, of course, somebody who we all have high hopes for at Barcelona and we really do want him to succeed at the club but at the same time you feel like right now it's out of his hand he's gone out on loan you do want him there to go out and prove what he can do at Real Betis we're just going to have to wait and see we've got to wait and see what he does there if he comes back if he's under the same coach and of course on a different management at board level as well could bring an entirely different outlook to Barcelona in terms of using youth trusting in youth bringing through your own that could have a big impact there on the likes of Carlos Alenia I'm really hoping that he'll still be here I couldn't guarantee that five out of 10 there. It's a 50-50 chance like it is for many of our youth players it's a tough one. And also out on loan right now, of course, is Rafinha Alcantara. I'm going to go there with 9 out of 10. I think it's extremely likely that we see Rafinha depart the club, either on another loan deal or perhaps most likely in the summer. The summer coming, of course, he could make a permanent move there, whether it be to Celta or maybe somewhere else. But I don't see Rafinha's long-term future being at Barcelona. He's got to go somewhere else. He's got to play regularly. And hopefully there, he has a good season at Celta. And maybe he'll remain there. But when it comes there to Arturo Vidal and also to Ivan Rakitic, for me, they are both 
certainties to lead by the summer of 2021. I'm going to go there. Both of them, 10 out of 10. Vidal will be 34. His current contract expires in the summer of 2021. So Barcelona, technically there, could be losing him for nothing. But I would certainly expect us, to be honest, to move him on before that. Get something for him. But Vidal, I don't think he's going to be here. And the same there for Ivan Rakitic. His contract also is set to expire in 2021. By then, he'll be 33 years old. Barcelona will not be offering him a new deal. And I think there, by that summer, Rakitic and Vidal will no longer be Barcelona players. Time now to move on to the forward positions. And again, we have another no chance at all to kick us off. And that comes, of course, in the form of Lionel Messi, who in 2021, sadly, will be 34 years old. His contract currently expires right now in 2021. But the club are already working on that renewal. It's not going to take place this season, but most likely in the summer, they're going to talk there about that extension. And I fully expect Messi to be here, entering that new dawn at Barcelona, I fully expect him to remain. Then there's Griezmann. I'm going to go there with three out of ten. I wouldn't say it's impossible that we see Griezmann leave. Stranger things have happened at Barcelona. He will be 30 by then, but ultimately we'll be hoping that Griezmann has settled in. He's nicely there in a central role and hopefully scoring plenty of goals for Barcelona. Then we move on to Usman Dembele. This one was also a really, really tough one because he's somebody you don't really want him to have left the club, but I'm going to have to say 5 out of 10. By then, he'll be 24 years old, and you would hope by then he'd made some sort of impact. He would have made a real statement by then in a Barcelona shirt and announced himself. And most importantly, of course, much like Samuel Mdetti, he's got to stay fit. If he can stay fit, if he can get out there, you feel like he could do something, but if he's not, if he can't stay fit, his Barcelona a time may come to an end. There's so much to prove in the coming months. And finally, guys, on the forward front, it is time to discuss Luis Suarez. I'm going to go there with 8 out of 10. Suarez most likely set to depart before the summer of 2021. By that time, he'll be 34 years old. His contract also is due to expire in the summer of 2021. Whether or not we'll renew him, I don't know that yet. I wouldn't expect Suarez there to be offered a renewal. He's likely to leave that summer, perhaps to the MLS somewhere where he you'll be able to leave for absolutely nothing. Or if Barcelona do want a fee for him, we could see him depart before them. But by the summer of 2021, I would expect us, with a big farewell, of course, for everything he's given us, but I would expect Suarez to be on his way. And just one player also to mention there in the forward positions, we've got to talk about Felipe Coutinho, currently out on loan right now, of course, but he is most likely to return from that spell at Bayern Munich. But I would actually say right now, Coutinho, 7 out of 10. I think it's unlikely that we see him remain at Barcelona beyond the summer there of 2021. Could he leave before then? Could he leave in the summer? Could he leave the next January? You just don't know with Coutinho. But also you've got to factor in, I wouldn't rate it any higher than that because under a different coach in maybe a slightly different system, things could be very, very different and perhaps there may be a place for him. But at least right now, 7 out of 10, Coutinho does look set to leave at some point. And just finally, guys, they're not technically registered as first-team players. That's why I haven't really discussed them outright. But I have to mention here Ansu Fati and Carlos Perez, two young, exciting, emerging players from Barcelona B. I hope they'll be here in 2021. I would certainly say with Ansu Fati, there's a big, big chance that he will be. Carlos Perez is probably less certain, but I do hope they both remain. I hope they get chances, and I hope, most importantly, they continue to develop heading into that brand new start. And so that there, guys, brings us to an end in today's rankings. Please do let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Who do you think is most likely to stay? And who would you like to see leaving before the summer of 2021? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh.